Good afternoon, uh, Sunday afternoon here in Dallas at the AEC Hackathon. I'm sitting with Mikako. Uh, Mikako is with Autodesk. I'll let her give the technical aspects of, of what you do with Autodesk. Uh, I'm with BIM Object, but uh, we actually, long before I was with BIM Object, we worked together uh, here at the AEC Hackathons. Uh, Autodesk and specifically Mikako have been uh, incredible supporters of what we've been doing for four years now almost. Uh, so anyway, uh, Mikako, tell us a little bit about you, what you're doing now and, and your role at Autodesk and, and then let's move in a little bit about how you see the hackathons helping that out. Okay, okay. Yeah, hi, my name is, again, my name is Mikako Harada and thank you Steve for this opportunity Absolutely. to speak. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm, um, uh, the, I work for Autodesk, as, as Steve said. Uh, the team I work for is uh, Forge uh, Partner Development. So what we do is uh, evangelizing our technologies from the Autodesk and right now uh, the, we are pushing a lot for the Forge. Mm -hmm. uh, Forge is um, a set of web services, uh, Autodesk actually used by ourselves to pro uh, produce our own product. And it's like a, you know, Google Map APIs for locations and uh, YouTube for videos and we want to have like a design data uh, make very easy to access to everybody. Yeah, I've noticed, um, and maybe you have too, with what we've been doing, we, a few years back we were really focused in the design area and engineering more. So it's interesting to hear you say that you're looking in the, the, the field mapping and so forth, because that's what I'm seeing too, even at the other conferences and shows are going to, it seems like a lot of the tech now is moving into that assembly phase uh, to, to bring that same digital content and, and leverage it through. Are, are you seeing more of that as well from yeah. what you guys are doing? Yeah, exactly. And then, you know, there are a lot of uh, partners who usually you don't think about the construction or design, right. but the owner of the building or owner <laughs> of the business, for instance, like uh, some uh, distribution, big distribution offices or design uh, the data centers, they have a big task of maintaining, you know, those things uh, running every day. I think it, that explains a lot like why BIM Object and, and Autodesk are closely partnered. I mean, a lot of our uh, our portal, a lot of our, uh, the, our Hercules and our digital building sits on the Forge platform. So we've been really uh, pretty close partners for a long time. Yeah. And we'll be uh, together again. Uh, at, we've got uh, Autodesk, the Forge DevCon, which mm -hmm. precedes AU Autodesk University. Yeah coming up in uh, November that uh, we'll both be at, so, uh, and our companies as well. So hopefully uh, anybody out there will come and check out all the, the stuff yes. and get a little more hands-on. Yeah. Uh, is there anything new that you are able to talk about that, that's going to be rolled out at Forge and or, or AU from yes, your areas? Uh, yeah, the, I'm glad you were asking. <laughs> I have uh, two big topics. One is called the design automation for Revit. So Revit is all known for the desktop developers and the customers, and we are trying to run the Revit on Forge. And Great. I'm actually having, personally, I'm having hands-on and thinking about the cool application samples for AUs now. And the second one is a more additional feature for on top of BIM 360. And Great. we just released uh, the, uh, actually secretly, <laughs> uh, the, we put the production on the Issues API. It's not everything, but the first version of Issues API is actually on production, and then uh, the handful of people has already uh, are using it. And we, uh, we are expecting more for maybe later this year around AU as a uh, the milestone, yeah. mm -hmm. like uh, the API to access like a crash detections, which is now in the preview mode wow. on uh, BIM 360. So yeah, I, I think uh, I'll have a fun time for a while. So we're actually, so what I'm, what I'm hearing is we're moving, you know, with that type of API integration, we're moving from the kind of the manual class detection and, and, and modification to more of an automated, is that what I'm hearing? Uh, uh, the, or, you know, the in, so for instance, in a desktop world, mm -hmm. if you want to do a class, for instance, you have to use a Navis world, right. you have to move around your, your data among applications, but with the idea of BIM 360, we put everything in like a data management, mm -hmm. we call it docs, and the product, you know, whatever product or you know, even third party applications can access the same data. So you yeah. don't need to move around your data. You just you know, access this one from a different perspective great. in the context. So, um, great, great. Yeah. Well, it's uh, 
it's a lot of fun yeah. being able to work in this piece of the, of the world. You know, where yeah, we're actually, it, we are changing the world, all of us yeah, here yeah. every day. And I really appreciate your contributions. I know you've helped a lot of teams this weekend. You do every weekend. And I know uh, they, they really appreciate your expertise and your depth of knowledge. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. So thanks for being <laughs> thanks. here Thank and you sharing. Very much. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the AC <laughs> Hackathon. But uh, at the beginning, frankly, I was a little bit scared. Like yeah. four years ago, I was wondering, what is this? But uh, now, you know, especially, uh, some demo and then you creating a very friendly atmosphere and it's yeah. very pleasant for us. Yeah. yeah, great. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot, Makako. Thank you very much. Yeah, look forward to continuing to work you. together. Looking yeah. forward to seeing uh, everybody at uh, Forge DevCon NAU yeah. uh, 18 in, in November. I believe it's the 15th, 16th-ish. Yes. So the middle of November. Yeah. Yes, middle of November, yeah. Monday and Tuesday, yeah. overlapping with yeah. AU over there. Absolutely. Great. Okay, great. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. See you soon.